What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create pages onto your WordPress website, okay? So, first of all, the very step to do is access your domain.com and access the WordPress. Normally it's WP admin or WP login, okay? Or sometimes, according to the host that you are, you can access the website by the host pin, okay? Like Bluehost, for example. But you're gonna be in a page almost like this one, okay? And into this page, you can see the dashboard, posts, media, page, appearance, plugins, users, tools, and settings, okay? According to the amount of options that you are installing, like themes and plugins, you may see more buttons right here, okay? In my case, once I'm using Enzo Visual Moto Free WordPress theme, I can see the Enzo panel right here. But yours may not appear this yet. So, how to create a page and what is a page? Posts are the posts of your blog, okay? For example, one content that you create, a post that you write about your life, about the travel you made, okay? But pages are more fixed parts of your site, okay? Normally we use to index the page into the heading of the site, okay? And once we go to the heading, we index all of the pages. Let me access one. Right here we can see the page indexed. Normally it's home, about, blog, contact us, okay? We have a couple of pages right here. So how to create a page? Go to our WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus, over your mouse over pages, we can click on it, and here is a list of all of the pages that you already have on your site. For example, the contact us page, that is this one right here, it's this page right here. And how to create a new one? We can go to add new, once on page, and you're gonna see this part right here. The very first thing to do is add a title. So, let's add a title. About. Now, we need to add content to this page, okay? We're gonna use this plus button, and we have a lot of elements to play with, okay? We can go to the CO, and you can see all of those elements. Imagine that you would like a heading or you would like some image to your page or some gallery. No problem. We're going to click on it. And now we're going to upload the image or select the image from our media library from previously uploaded images on our site. Okay. But let's imagine that you would like to make it easier. Okay. You would like to start with some pre built layout. We can go to the plus button, go to the browse all go to the patterns and select one of these patterns okay so let's choose this one for example now we have an about page with some pricing tables okay now we can change the text okay we can customize this text for for example let's change for the number of four two the same and six the same as well as you can see, the process to design, it's really simple, okay? And if you review the upper right corner of my screen, we have this gear icon. Click on it, and you're gonna be able to see extra options. For example, I click it into this option, and here I can see the color and change the background color, for example, in the case that I want, of course. Simple, right? There is a lot of elements that you can play with, but let's create this page just like this, okay? We're gonna hit the publish button into the upper right corner. We can see other important options right here, for example, the visibility, the page must be public in order to let your visitors to access it, and we're gonna publish immediately, so publish. And here is my page. But as you can, say, as you can see, there is no page still on the menu. And how to apply this page on the menu? Let's click into the upper left side of, uh, of my screen, into the WordPress logo type, and go to Appearance. Hold your mouse over it, click on Menus. Find out the main menu of your site, in my case it is menu right here. And as you can see, we have Pages into this panel right here. And here is my About page. I'm gonna click on Add to Menu, and here is my page. I can drag and drop. We can put it under the home page to be a sub menu or into the main menu. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this next to home. Hit the save menu. 
and here is my about page nice and working if you want to have extra options to customize your pages for example using a page builder with more intuitive layout we can go to plugins add new and install a page builder a very famous one it's called elementor so we're gonna type right here into the upper right corner elementor So, as you can see right here, we have the Elementor website builder. It's this one by Elementor.com. These other ones are add-ons. We're going to explain this later, okay? Click on install now. Click on activate. The plugin is going to redirect you to another page. No need to worry, okay? And as you can see, as I told, into the left sidebar of menus, we have new pages, new eatings, okay? But no need to work on it yet. Now go to pages. Let's go to add new once again. And now we're going to be able to see a new button called Edit with Elementor. If you click on it, we're going to load the front end editor, okay? We will not longer edit the page into the back end. You edit the page into the place where the page is going to be viewed, into the front end, okay? And we can use the drag and drop elements in order to change layouts, for example. If you want a video, right here. A heading right here we just have to drag and drop elements it's not hard at all but of course you have you have to give yourself some time to get it done after change made go to publish like the others but now we have all the things into the left sidebar of blocks or widgets as the elementor said we have a lot of elements of course there's some locked elements because they want to sell you things but you keep everything for free Let's go back, let's go to this option right here, exit, apply. Go once again to plugins, add new. Now into the search plugin at the upper right corner, we're gonna type borderless. Click on install now. Click on activate. And now for your Elementor, once you are creating pages, add new page, edit with Elementor, we're gonna be able to see a lot of extra widgets and blocks in order to apply on your page, okay? So it's almost like the previous made the previous style to start with pre-built layouts. Simple, easy, and effective. And it is. Let me know what pages you are creating now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Enzo WordPress team that is the best free WordPress team that you can download. To install this on your site, you just go to WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzo, click on install and activate it. It's completely free and gonna give you pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. Let me show you a little bit more about it. Right here on borders, we have the library. And if you click into this button, we can have your site looking like one of those pre-built websites, for, for example, okay? With no work and just a single click. They have amazing menu options, customization, and many more things. And if you prefer to go premium in order to save time and have full support while doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass. Feel free to contact us if you have any question and gain access to our full library of pre-built websites, premium icon assets, widgets, premium blocks, and many, many more elements in order to do your site and the site for your business needs. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!